Suppose we have a triangle ABC and we know nothing particular about this triangle except for the fact that it could be scalene, it could be equilateral, it could be isosceles, anything. Uh, now let's pick an arbitrary but fixed point uh, D on the side AB. So D is on AB and our goal is to find a point X so find a point X on the side BC so somewhere here maybe such that area of triangle XAD is equal to area of triangle ACX so maybe I can join these so we want the area of triangle ADX so this shaded triangle the blue shaded triangle is equal to the area of triangle in green and uh, this one is an investigation for the point X so we want to find such a point X so this is a problem that came up in one of our discussions and uh, one of the students actually gave a very nice solution uh, here is what we can easily do so you can pause the video here and give it a try first it's not hard at all uh, so this is what we can do let's take ABC as the triangle and D as the point join CD that's the step one of the construction so join CD and then pick the midpoint of CD let's call it T suppose T is the midpoint of CD and join AT and produce it to meet BC at X now we claim that X is our desired point so X is the desired point so why should it be well let's join XD so we want to show that triangle ADX and triangle ACX are of equal area now to find the area of a triangle we have to use we generally use the formula half base times height so we will use that here as well so from the point C we will drop a perpendicular on AX so maybe like this so maybe we have to extend AX a little bit and from the point D we will also drop a perpendicular like this so suppose this point is M this one is N so maybe we can just remove this X and put the X here okay so we have these two triangles triangle D M T and triangle C N T so what can we say about these two triangles D M T and C N T so the first thing that we can say is that D T is equal to C T obviously right because we picked C in such a way that DT is equal to CT. T is the midpoint of CD. No confusion there. Uh, the next thing we can say is angle DTM is equal to angle CTN. That's vertically opposite. Okay, that's understandable. And finally, we have angle DMT is equal to angle CNT both at 90 degrees so we have angle angle side congruency 
So these two triangles are congruent, which means that DM is equal to CN. DM is equal to CN. But that's exactly both both of them are so both of them are heights of triangle uh, XAD and triangle ACX. So these are the heights of triangle XAD and triangle ACX. Since the heights are equal and the base is just AX, so the base is AX which is a common base and the heights are equal therefore these two triangles are congruent uh, I'm sorry are, are of equal area so uh, a little work with area and uh, um, midpoints will show you that they are deeply connected we will discuss more problems related to this in the subsequent videos and also in the class uh, until then Stay tuned and keep doing great mathematics.